good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today we uh, we will talk about car estimation. Car estimation. Car estimation. This is uh, one of our joint project with uh, New Zealand Lab Heidelberg, and the, uh, uh, this is uh, our project background. We are currently working with uh, New Zealand Lab Heidelberg, NEC New Zealand, and uh, I'm from TU Dortmund. TU Dortmund. And uh, what is car estimation? The car estimation problem is to uh, approximate the car size in a given area based on some of the available information, for example, the Wi-Fi information or image, image data. Uh, so the, the information is a partial view of the real world. And the use case of car estimation technology, uh, there are many, many uh, different use cases. And the most popular use case is uh, we can apply the car estimation technology to enhance public safety. Or we can nowadays the smart city is getting more and more important and smart city mobility is an important sector in, in smart city. So with the car estimation information we can uh, maintain and the pre we can maintain the service, for example the public transport service uh, uh, based on the car density, the passenger density, the public transport authority can maintain their service in advance. So now, do you think car estimation is important? So maybe I couldn't convince you. So let's look at this example. Why car estimation is so important? This is important picture. The um, the car the car in uh, presidential inauguration uh, for of Barack Obama in two thousand nine, yes. like this, very crowded. And in the last year, the president, the presidential inauguration, the president himself say it looks like a million, a million and a half people in in this area. So, so who is right? So. So let's, let's try to help the president to solve this problem. So now do you think the car estimation is important? Yes. And what are the um, a typical methods for the car estimation in the past? Um, uh, there's a professor, a professor uh, uh, he's a professor in uh, journalism area. Uh, from UC Berkeley many years ago. And he proposed we can uh, divide the square into, into multiple sub-square and based on the density. So some of the square might be very dense and some of the square uh, is not so crowded. So we can uh, divide the square into multiple, multiple sub-square. Then uh, based on the density, we can estimate the car in a given area. And with this typical approach, the accuracy uh, can reach around 10 to 20 percentage. And nowadays, we have a new technology. And what would be the new clue for car estimation? So nowadays, we are because of the communication technology uh, change our of, uh, daily life. So we, in 5G network, we move everything to the IP network. So most of people have a smartphone and you stay with your smartphone, you check your smartphone all the time. And because of the evolution of a mobile devices, so the, the mobile devices become small and easy to carry. So everyone have a smartphone. So let's look at the statistic. This is a statistic uh, in, in 2018 this year. The number of mobile device users in 2018 this year is uh, roughly 5 million, 5 plus million. And the number increased 4% every year, year by year. So from this statistic, the, the, the appearance of the mobile device indicates crawl, uh, appearance in a given area. So in our project, um, initially, we, we consider Wi-Fi sniffer. The Wi-Fi sniffer can monitor Wi-Fi activity and the wireless packet in a given, given area. So the, we capture the Wi-Fi prop 
packet broadcast by the mobile device. And each probe packet contains MAC address, and the uh, MAC address are ISSI signal strengths uh, of the mobile device. And we assume the cover area of the Wi-Fi sniffer are not overlapping with each other. So how do you think the Wi-Fi wi information? Uh, can you think the can you uh, can Wi-Fi only approach provide sufficient accuracy? This is a um, well re recognized research direction in cross estimation, and the well recognized issue is how can how uh, can we map the observed network statistic to the actual number of people? And the uh, researcher in the community found this is uh, very difficult because the information is highly dynamic because the, in, the, the information, the Wi-Fi, the information from Wi-Fi packet captured by the Wi-Fi sniffer uh, vary, vary from time to time and uh, because of a wide variety of factors, for example, the location, time, or the country, or the type of event. So the mapping between a uh, network statistic and the actual number of people in the area still uh, uh, leave a question mark here. And the challenge, challenge for cost estimation using Wi-Fi prop. Um, the, the first one challenge, the, the first one challenge is the ground truth is not available. The, the ground truth is unknown because the Wi-Fi coverage is invisible. So we couldn't count how many devices in the Wi-Fi range, and the, the Wi-Fi signal is time varying. So Wi-Fi signal is time varying, and the um, so we couldn't know we couldn't know uh, the actual boundary, the actual coverage of the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi sensing range, and also Wi-Fi packet couldn't be reproduced because uh, there are many uncertainty. For example, if I move uh, outside the room and come back and make the same movement back and forth, back and forth. The Wi-Fi wi uh, packet, uh, the Wi-Fi sniffer couldn't, be, um, couldn't capture the same Wi-Fi packet. Even the event, the mobility event is the same. And also the uncertainty, the uncertainty interval of a Wi-Fi prop. So the, the interval of Wi-Fi prop depends on the smartphone usage depends on the smartphone usage and also depends on the mobile, uh, smartphone model. So you, you can see the statistic from the table. If you, your smartphone stays in a sleeping mode, then the Wi-Fi the, the wi interval is longer. The Wi-Fi uh, prop interval is longer. And the Wi-Fi information, uh, Wi-Fi information is accurate. So the cost estimation. Sometimes we, if we just look at the Wi-Fi information, we may overestimate, overestimate crop, or we underestimate, underestimate crop because uh, the sensing range of the Wi-Fi is much larger than the target area. And um, when people are in a hurry. They already move out of the sensing range before the device broadcast by any uh, broadcast broadcast any prop. And also, the if we look at the Wi-Fi information only, another challenge is a concept drift. Concept drift means uh, the statistic property, the statistic property of crop estimation change over time. So it caused the problem with. Um, the uh, prediction, the prediction result, the estimation result become less accurate over time. For example, sometimes this, uh, the the number of devices have a recurring drift or a drift uh, because of noise. So the research problem here in this project is how how can we get along with the dynamic and the uncertainty. And can we bridge uncertainty and the reliable information using correlation among them? So we are thinking about this question quite a long time. So can we know if we can get the near ground truth using additional sensor to sensor? And we can uh, collect the near ground truth from uh, additional sensor, and then we can uh, 
further collaborate, collaborate, with, collaborate the Wi-Fi only car estimation. So our key idea, our key idea in this work is we uh, consider a calibration chalk point. Uh, at the calibration chalk point, not only Wi-Fi sniffer, but also a reliable stereoscopic camera are deployed at the calibration chalk point. And the key idea is um, based on the two data modalities, we can dynamically learn the correlation between the two data and apply the correlation to the other sensing zone with our camera. So in this work, the, our assumption is uh, the environment uh, should be uh, simple without too many entrance. For example, an indoor train station might be the good location. And the, the environment, uh, we consider an environment without too many vehicle traffic. So we focus on pedestrian traffic. And we deploy multiple sniffer in, in the proximity, in the proximity of the collaboration chalk point. And the main junction or entrance is uh, preferred to be in the collaboration chalk point because we have a more chance to capture human mobility in, at the main junction. And the sensing zone, uh, all of the sensing zones share common statistic property and the mobility feature pattern. And our approach is a com uh, complementary approach. So our idea is not to remove any, any uh, data source. The Wi-Fi and the stereo stereoscopic camera have a different sensing capability. So our idea is uh, we use one data source to compensate for, e for e uh, uh, each other. Uh, the two data sources can compensate for each other. For example, in terms of visibility and uh, stable, uh, stable, stable coverage, the camera offer a uh, better coverage. And the data, in terms of the data reproducibility, uh, camera have a good data reproducibility. And in terms of um, data anonymization, the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi sniffer won't capture any personal image, and the Wi-Fi is more flexible in uh, dark place. So Wi-Fi uh, won't be limited by the environmental condition, for example, the brightness or size size of target area and the um, in, uh, in uh, invisibility due to nearby obstacle. And also Wi-Fi have a good, uh, have lower deployment costs and the less communication overhead for transmi transmission, uh, data transmission, data collection. And how, when we choose uh, additional data source, how can we uh, verify the data, the quality of data from the another data source? So in, in this system, we consider accuracy and the precision. Accuracy means the uh, proximity, the, the, uh, is the proximity of measurement to the true value. So for example, if uh, there are number, uh, the actual number of people is 20, and number of people detected by the camera is a three, which means this camera is not so accurate. And the uh, precision refer to another things. Precision refer to re uh, reproducibility of the measurement. So if we, um, uh, we take, uh, consider the same example, if the same experiment is repeated for 100 times and the camera, the detection result from the camera is straight, which means which means this uh, camera is not so precise. So a sensor might operate at very high uh, precision but low accuracy. So based on this concept, we verify our idea uh, in, in the outdoor pilot study. So, um, so in our, in, our, in, our, in our work, in our system, we propose adaptive collaboration algorithm. The idea is we um, update, we divide time into multiple fixed size time window. So, so we can uh, update the sample and the update the correlation, uh, correlation between two data modality and the, uh, we can apply the correlation to multiple sensing zone. So the key idea, this is a key idea. We, uh, for different time window, we can uh, uh, calculate the correlation. 
different for, for each time window we can calculate the correlation and we can apply the, the correlation in in um in 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 different in different sensing zone. So in our algorithm, we put, in our algorithm, uh, the first algorithm is we consider the uh, fixed size of time window. So the idea is we remove, remove uh, all the data, and and we uh, when the new data coming, we add the new data. So we keep update, we keep updating the uh, training data set. And if the number of the training data set is one, which means uh, the oh sorry. <laughs> So, so, uh, so the key maybe I skip some of, yeah. So we uh, deploy our system in the real pilot study. In the real pilot study, and the, there are two pilot studies. Side one is a uh, restart mall in New Zealand. Another one is a Wellington railway station. And this is our uh, highway. How uh, we have a prototype. We implement the prototype in the Raspberry Pi, and we deploy the business level in the uh, Wellington railway station and the restart mall. And this is the uh, uh, the stereoscopic camera we use in the in the pilot study. So, so from the from the pilot study, we can see the uh, the purpose algorithm relief the overestimation situation during peak hour, and the, the uh, another dynamic proportion collaboration is too sensitive, too sensitive to extreme change of the correlation during peak hour. And the adaptive result can provide a more accurate result and the relief underestimation during peak hour. And in general, the the uh, the purpose algorithm can uh, reduce the uh, reduce average error of around 40, 40 percentage compared to uh, on the uh, when on the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi data is is considered in the system. So here is the, the uh, conclusion, and uh, I would like to uh, highlight uh, what you can take away from the, from the talk. If you cannot uh, predict uncertainty and the dynamic, uh, dynamics, why not to get along with them? So in our, in our work, we uh, give a simple example. We propose to build a bridge. The bridge, uh, the bridge can connect uncertainty and the dynamics with the reliable uh, estimation. So we can select adequate sensor and the correlate them and adapt to the concept. So thank you for your attention. I will be happy to take for, uh, any of your questions.